We're here with uh, Gary and Steve Cooper. Not Steve Cooper. I'm sorry. God. Uh, I got a New buddy guys. named Steve Cooper. <laughs> Gary. It's Corey. Corey. <laughs> and Gary Cooper. Is that it? Yeah, I'm Corey. You want to do the inner? <laughs> and you're. You, you are, you. And, and who are you? <laughs> I'm nobody. I am absolutely nobody. <laughs> the guy with the camera is yeah. here wasting my valuable time. <laughs> Hi, this is Frank with Motor and TV, and we're here with Gary and Corey, and we finally completed the Strikester. Tell us a little bit what's going on now. Well, we're at Gary Cooper's race shop, and uh, the car's been brought here after the paint was all finalized and the paint and the chassis finalized, and so it's here for Gary. And Gary's done all the assembly of the car, uh, put the motor in the car, assembled the motor. And uh, so we're, we're, we're down to the last couple of days before the car has to go to the into the trailer and on to Bakersfield. That's the debut event, which is coming up this next weekend in Bakersfield, California. And it's called the Cackle Fest, which is called the Hot Rod Reunion. So right. It's in Bakersfield. So that's, that's the whole point of this car was to be built for this Bakersfield reunion. There's two original guys left on from the original team, Ron Rivero and uh jim fox yep jim, jim and fox. ron was the driver ron was the driver and jim fox was the tuner so those guys will be at bakersfield to see their car again now gary tell us a little bit about what you've been doing uh we've been struggling building a motor <laughs> uh 354 chrysler that was a stroker that had to have a lot of cutting done on it that wasn't anticipated <laughs> and uh just all the normal stuff you go through trying to gather up the correct parts and pieces and make it all work you know we had some pictures of the driver's compartment right uh we've helped a lot of friends we've duplicated a lot of it and some of it wasn't quite right as we got it no it's, it's coming together corey's been working his butt off for the last few days while i went out of town racing so it's it's yeah coming i think together. he spent a couple of hours on it I'm yeah sure. i think he the neighbors think he moved <laughs> in or something they're probably asking questions didn't you say he now knows your cat yeah <laughs> made friends with my cat while i was gone and everything so yeah we uh yeah, we kind of a group effort. We all have to work around real life a little bit too. So right, even though right. In these twenty-hour work days, we haven't had much real life. So, but well, no, it's going to get done. Corey, tell me, uh, the last time we were seeing some of the paint, and we saw what Nadine was doing. Right. Now the car is assembled. Everything is painted. What's left? Uh, they're just again. We got a couple final finishing touches to do. I'm going to make a, a, a mount for the parachute to extend the parachute out to the proper location. And the windshield is the next kind of a thing. I haven't made the windshield yet, but uh, we're getting right down to pretty much the end of it, you know. And, and, and again, when Gary assembles and, I, and, and I'm involved with something, a lot of these guys will bring the car out and it's just a polished everything from hat to the pan, you know, where this is actually a race car looking race car it's not you know the guys back in the day they didn't have super big bucks and they didn't have all that polished stuff but guys kind of get overboard on the over polishing their some of the motor stuff and, so, and you've got one uh, last step that you've got to do one last step which is I think a front wing yes I gotta build another, <laughs> yeah this car had a front wing on on the on it so uh, I'm gonna try and have that done for Bakersfield as well yeah that'll be a late night tonight and tomorrow to get that done. and that's something you'll take out to them yeah, if I get it done by the time it goes in the trailer, we'll get it installed. But if not, it's something I can just carry out to the racetrack with me when I go out there. We'll install it there at Bakersfield. Now, so. Gary, you actually going to try to start this car tomorrow? Uh, I may try to start it tonight. Really, all I got to do is plumb up the injector. I've already the about everything's mags in it, the yeah. valves are set. Right. Uh, I've a couple of the plumbing things that were lacking. I have, you know, that I can rig up a little bit but now I'll probably get it started up tonight just just so we can say we did so really they're getting a turnkey situation here oh yeah yeah that's it's they just got to get in and start it turn, go, turnkey huh? with instructions and we'll see if they follow them <laughs> this time <laughs> so yeah but, but you know the beauty of coming to, to us for this you know you can bring you can get everything done it's a one-stop place here in Wichita right you can get the body the paint the motor the assembly so we can pretty much cover all your bases on one of these cackle cars and or race car. Well, why don't you tell us a little bit about the paint that you actually put on this car because it was not just something off the shelf. No, uh, unfortunately, uh, there's a, an old pearl called Murano Pearl, which is used back in the day. 
it's not made anymore. It was a lead-based deal, so the, the government kind of said you got to quit. So most all of that stuff's been used up. Luckily, I have a little source for that. And so a lot of these old cars were had that flair and that feel of Murano pearls, candies. That's why we use a lot of different colors on these things and make them as bright as possible. So this uh, is a, it's a base coat, clear coat paint. But in the process, I did use a lot of Murano pearls, gold mm -hmm. over the yellow, and uh, some blues and stuff to kind of give it this extra, you know, kind of sparkly look that it has. Well, I can say this without a doubt. Uh, from starting off with a flat piece of metal and watching you hammer this out and look like a, you know, as you put it, a, a bag of walnuts, and to what it looks like today, it is unbelievable. Thanks. And, uh, and as well, Gary also with doing the, the right. fit and the finish and assembly and, and you know, so forth. So. Well, um, there's something you wanted to say? Hey, girls, check me out. <laughs> hey, thanks a lot for watching Motoring TV. Remember to subscribe and like us.